Hello, Gibby Gibster here, and today on Pokemon TCG products to invest in front of fifty pounds, we are having a Pokemon V showcase box showdown. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Warning: Investing in anything is a risk. These are items I am personally invested in and want to share it with you. If you choose to invest in any of these products, you do so at your own risk. So today we have the Bolt Hound V Showcase Box, Infernape V Showcase Box, and the Pikachu V Showcase Box. And we will put them, we are going to be putting them head to head to see which one is best. These are a slightly weird product. I don't fully understand what these were for. I've done a little research and what I've made out from all my research is these are small easy to produce products which were to be released a bit before the main V boxes. Before the main V boxes were to be released to showcase what would be inside and the V cards. So essentially it's just a little product that was supposed to come out before the big boxes to show that this is the V card you'll be getting and these are a selection of the packs you'll be getting. And I've only seen these three, so I'm guessing it wasn't very successful. I don't know the retail price of these, I can't find a retail price. Someone, there probably is a retail price, but I can't find it. But I can tell you, I brought the Infernape V Box for £10.95, the Bout Hound VK V Box for £11.25, and the Pikachu V Box for £12.65. So the idea was these would come out just before these boxes. So this is the Pikachu V Box, and this is the Pikachu V Showcase Box. So. This would come out a couple of weeks before and it will show you what you would get in this box. But it doesn't completely show you what you get in these box. Because in the actual V boxes you get an extra cosmic promo hollow and an extra pack. And we get a bit into more into that later on. But we should just start by opening it. So we'll probably go from the least popular promo. Start with the about hound a box. Now these are actually quite good for storing because they're very thin and they're not tall and they do have these hanger bits on them so you can hang them up on little hangers and keep them out of the way or you could store them flat or one by one and they don't take up much room. But we'll get into it and show you what's inside. up and you get a little folio like this. So this one you get about hound. Pop it out. It comes in this little part and there's your code card for the whole product. And this is the Belt Hound V promo. So you can get them in these showcase boxes or the actual Belt Hound V box. I have done an investment video on these and I think the boxes are very very good. And the packs you get inside are two brilliant stars and a rebel clash which is quite weird. I thought they came with fusion strikes but a rebel clash, an older set it's not too bad. Brilliant stars is a very good set, rebel clash not very good. And pop the Infernape out. Now this one came a little bit after the other two. So it have slightly newer packs in it. I think I know what packs are in these, but I was wrong on the Bathound ones. So we shall see what's in here. So this one's a little different. You get a bit of a background colour. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but... Here we go, here's the Infernape V Black Star promo. Very cool promo, quite a popular Pokemon. No code on that one. But there's the promo. Actually like this promo, Infernape V as I said is quite popular. 
Okay. Inside, there's your promo. Is with the packs this time, not with the promo. And you get two Lost Origin and an Astral Radiance. Well, I expected in this one. So, two Lost Origin and an Astral Radiance in the Infernape V box. And then we'll open the Pikachu one. Pikachu is probably the most popular Pokemon you can get. Well, it's fighting with Charizard, but I think Pikachu is more popular because it is the post foil Pokemon. Oh, and the promo came out of that little box. So, here's the Pikachu V promo. Very nice promo, and there's your code card. So these two have the code cards with these, and the Inferno one has it with in with the packs. What well, Pikachu V promo? Very off center, from left to right. Into a sleeve, and then the packs in this one. I hope it's what I think it is. Two brilliant stars. And a chilling rain, which is very nice indeed. But the weird thing about the Pikachu V showcase, the showcase comes with two brilliant stars and a chilling rain. But the box, as we've got here, comes with two brilliant stars and two fusion strikes. This is the second print run of this. The first print run has two brilliant, one fusion, and a chilling rain. So that's why the chilling rain's in there. But be careful if you're looking for the chilling rain in those Pikachu Vs, just make sure you can see it. Because if you buy it online, you'll probably get the newer print run, not the older print run. So we should get into our pack battle. So we'll start with the Battle Hound one. So we'll start with the Rebel Clash. I don't like Rebel Clash as a set, it's a very bad set. It does have the rainbows of the sword and shield starters in it. But rainbows aren't very popular and they've dropped rainbows now. That's how unpopular they were. So we'll go one, two, three, four from the back, sword and shield. Guess the energy, fire energy, psychic energy, palatan, olena, twin energy, P Dove, actually a very cute artwork. P Dove, Galarian Darumaka, Hatten, Hatena, Scyther, Nosepass, Reverse Hollow Dragapult, and a non hollow Galarian Rodrigus. So, no hit in that pack because you're not guaranteed a hollow in a Sword and Shield. But now we got two brilliant stars pack, Charizard pack artwork. That's what we want with the old art Charizard. An old art. Arceus is quite good as well, but in the set it's really just the Charizard. It has quite a good trainer gallery, but not the best trainer gallery. Guess in G. Oh, uh, I can't guess in G because I messed up Patrick because I'm so used to doing Scarlet and Violet. So it's Fire Energy, Fire Energy, Monferno, Gloria, Claydol, Shroomish, Piplup, Love Piplup, Twitweek, Sneasel. Clink. Reverse hollow chair and chair. Ooh, and that is a big hit. It's not a big, big hit, but it's still a big hit. It's a full art Raichu V. Doesn't get as much love as its pre evolution Pikachu, but Raichu is still quite a popular Pokemon. And there we go. A Raichu V of full art. Wasn't expecting that. So, Bouthound has scored a big hit may win it this showdown. Well, second pack of Brilliant Stars from Bolt Hound V Showcase Box. Code card. One, two, three, four from the back, because it's Shield and Shield. Guess the energy, Leaf Energy. Yeah, got him. Yes. Leaf Energy. Bear Tick. Roseanne's Backup. Floatzel. Crawfish. Garlet. Impidimp, Golit, Cast Form, Reverse Hollow Executor, and a non hollow mana feed. So, no hit in that pack. But, to get a full art hit out of the Power Hound box, 
Now we move on to the Infernape V box. So we have two Lost Origin and Astral Radiance. We'll start with Astral Radiance. I think it's a very underrated set. It has quite a few alt arts in it. Good alt arts has the Machamp V, which is the big one. And Origin Form Palkia and Origin Form Dialga and a few others. And it has a chair in the gallery. Guess in G. Three, four. Guess the energy. Leaf energy again. <sighs> Water energy. Choik. Yamega. Capture Bog. Rowlet. Oshwat. Scyther. Stantler. Yamma. Reverse Hollow Vespiqui. <sighs> and a non hollow Glacial. Very nice artwork, but it's not a hollow. It's quite rare, rare for Evolutions not to get a hollow, but has in that set. And now we're on to two packs of Lost Origin. Really like this set. Has the massive Alt Art Giratina, which is the second most valuable card in the Sword and Shield era after the Moonbrion. It has that amazing Aerodactyl as well, which I really want. And the Trainer Gallery is stacked with Popular Pokemon. <laughs> like Snorlax, Free Peak Chews. Gengar, and there's a Charizard in it, and a Golden Mew, and a Golden Chunk Chew. So yes, the energy, Metal Energy, Dark Energy, Lost Vacuum, Gastrodon, Lambit, Slugma, Clefairy, Apalm, Spinrack, Litwick, Reverse Hollow Hooper, and a non hollow Dugon. So no hit in that one. Here we go, second pack of Lost Origin. Also has that Radiant Guard of World, which is the pack art. But Radiant cards don't add all too much value, and they're quite easy to do. Code card. One, two, three, four. Guess in G. Metal Energy again. Leaf Energy. Lost Vacuum. Casco. Lambert. Machop. Pikachu. Very nice. And Tomp. Pseudo Electric, Reverse Hollow Shocket, and Hollow Barbaric also is a hit. Hollows are hit in Sword and Shield, but not in Scarlet and Violet. So in Scarlet and Violet, you are guaranteed a Hollow. So that's one hit for the Veronate V-Box. Not as good as hit as the Battle Round, but we go into the Pikachu V-Box with a Chin of Rain. Very good. Oh, arts in this, quite a lot of decent value cards. Big ones, the Blaziken V Max, oh, art. And then you've got the Golden Snorlax as well, and the old arts of the Galarian Birds. One, two, three, four. Guess you G. Psychic Energy. Lightning Energy. Celio. Melanie. Rillipede. Hatena. Sobble. Bon Sweet. Furfru. Diglett. Reverse Hollow Goldock. And a non hollow Z striker. But he is called nickname Chilling Pain for a reason. Because the pull rates are very bad. So, two packs of Brilliant Stars left. Code card. I can't remember what's in this training gallery. One, two, three, four. I think there's a Rayquaza in here, which is quite big money. Gets the energy. Light and energy. Dark Energy, Clang, Cynthia's Ambition, Torkoal, Holucha, Throw, Magma, Staryu, Burmy. Oh yes, Reverse Hollow Ice Cube, love Ice Cube, don't like the one in the new Obsidian Flames because it's Terra type, ruins it. And a normal <laughs> Ice Cube, so two Ice Cubes in one pack, I'm actually quite happy with that. A lot of people won't be, but I am because I love penguins. Last pack for the Pikachu V Showcase. Brilliant stars. I haven't pulled that Charizard. Code card. One, two, three, four. Guess the energy. Fire energy. Leaf energy. Charon's care. Pachirisu. Kingler. Shroomish. Piplup. Turtwig. Mincino. Carolair. Ooh, and there we go. A trainer gallery. Zekrom. So that is a hit. So Zekrom, legendary Pokemon then. Very nice indeed. And behind it we have a non-hollow Leopard. So no other hits behind it, but 
There we go, a trainer gallery Zekrol. I think it's kind of popular, but it's not very popular as a legendary Pokemon. So that is a hit. So we've got a hit in every single box. But the level of hits are a lot different. So we go through the hits again. So in the Battle Hound V box, we got a full art Raichu V from Brilliant Stars, which is a very good hit. So full art three packs, very good. The Pikachu V box, we got that train a gallery Zekrom, which is very nice. And then out the Infernape V box, we got a hollow barbarical. So not very good. So I think on the packs, the Bouthound V box won. So we'll go into the appearance and promo. So for the Bout Hound V Box, we'll give appearance and promo a six out of ten. It's Bout Hound. It's not very popular. It is a dog Pokemon, so it's got a bit of popularity, but it's not a big popular Pokemon. For the Pikachu V, we're giving it an eight out of ten. It's Pikachu, poster boy of Pokemon, very popular. One of the most popular along with Charizard. So it gets an out, 8 out of 10. Infernape V will give a 7 out of 10. It is a cool popular Pokemon. Infernape V. Uh, dual, Fire and Fighting type in the games. Pretty cool. So it gets a 7 out of 10. For the price they all get 7 out of 10s. The Pikachu is a bit more expensive than the other two because it's Pikachu, but I don't mind paying an extra pound, two pound for a Pikachu promo because Pikachu is very popular. Pack selection out of the Infernape V box, I will give the pack selection a 8 out of 10. It's two Lost Origins and an Astral Radiance. Both sets have a trainer gallery. Lost Origins got the best trainer gallery in my opinion. And it also has that mega pricey Giratina in it. So that's very good. And Natural Radiance has a lot of old arts at medium prices. So that's very good. For the pack selection for the Pikachu V box, we're going to give it a 7 out of 10. A Chillant Rain and two brilliant stars so in chin rain you have the blazekin v max the golden snorlax axe and the old art glaring birds very big pricey cards but the pull rate's very hard in chin and rain brilliant stars you have the a trainer gallery which is a decent training gallery even though i can't remember much of the cards in it and you have that old art charizard you can chase and the old art arceus is quite nice as well and the Bolt Hound V pack selection, I uh, shall give a 6 out of 10. It's not great. It's a Rebel Clash. I thought it would be a Fusion Strike, but it's a Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash is a very bad set in my opinion. There's no trainer gallery. And the big cards are rainbow cards, which aren't very popular. But then you do get two packs of brilliant stars. As I said, you've got the Charizard Alt Art and the Arcasus Alt Art and a pretty decent trainer gallery so overall for all of them i'm going to go from the least favorite to the highest scoring so we'll go lowest scoring first which is third place is the bout hound v the promo it's gonna get a six out of ten overall and then we go to the infernate the v box which gets a seven and a half out of ten and then the pikachu v is our winner with an eight out of ten overall rating so we're going to go through what i think of them inferno v is very cool pokemon the price is pretty good it's not that expensive for three packs and a v promo black star promos don't forget they're black stars so they're only found in these sorts of products And then the three packs, the pack selection is very good. Lost Origin has a very big pricey Giratina. And in my 
and that mid-priced Aerodactyl, which I really want. Uh, one of the best training galleries, in my opinion. Nastra Radiance has quite a few mid-level old arts. And the training gallery and the pull rates are pretty good. So we're going to the Bowhound box. Uh, the Bowhound is not a very popular Pokemon, but it is a dog Pokemon, and everyone likes dogs. The price is okay. The pack selection is two brilliant stars, so you got the chance of that. Alt Art Charizard, and the Alt Art Arceus, and a half decent trainer gallery. And then the Rebel Clash is a very bad pack, so not even going to get into that one. And then we'll get into the Pikachu one, which is the one of the most popular Pokemon along with Charizard. You get two brilliant stars again, so Charizard Alt Art, Arceus Alt Art, and then a half decent trainer gallery and then Chillin Rain has some big cards in it like the Alt Art Blaziken, the uh, Gold Snorlax and uh, all three Galarian birds have an Alt Art as well but the pull rate is very bad on Chillin Rain that's why it's got a nickname of Chillin Pain so for investing would I tell you to invest in these products not as a sealed product, if you're going to try to invest for a sealed product, I would go for the actual boxes. So, i So, yeah, I would go for the actual boxes like this Pikachu V box because you get a jumbo promo, you get the Backstar promo, which you get in the showcase, and you also get a Cosmic Hollow promo, and you get an extra pack, which is an extra pack of Fusion Strike. Which doesn't have Chilling Rain in this, but you get two Fusion Strikes and two Brilliant Stars. And the box looks a lot nicer. So I would say if you're going to invest in a sealed product, get the actual boxes, not the showcase boxes. But if you want to, these are actually quite good if you want to invest in just the promos. So the promo like this, out and loose, you can trade it, sell it, or add it to collection in a binder. And you can open the packs. It's a lot cheaper than well, it's a lot cheaper than that. Twelve sixty-five for the Pikachu V showcase as I paid for. The boxes are about seventeen to eighteen pound. So you get six pound less. You can open it up. You can get these, and you can have a go at getting the old Art Charizards or an old Art Blaziken V Max. Biggest disappointment is the Belt Hound V. I've done a investment video on these, on the Belt Hound V boxes. I think they're amazing because you get two brilliant stars, a fusion strike, and an evolving skies, which is a very good pack selection, even though the promo Pokemon's not that popular. The packs in it are amazing, and you also get a cosmic hollow Wooloo, which is really cute. So don't get these showcase boxes because the pack selection are bad you don't get the evolving skies if it had the evolving skies in it i would say get it it's just so you can open the evolving skies but get the bolt hound v boxes not the showcase so that's what i think but what do you think leave the comments down below and i shall see you in the next one see ya